What are antibiotics and why do we take them? Antibiotics are medicines containing molecules usually produced by bacteria or fungi and are used to treat a variety of infections that our natural immunity oftentimes struggles to fight off. The serendipitous discovery of penicillin by Alexander Fleming in 1928 and its first use over a decade later on Albert Alexander, who had been hospitalized after being scratched by a rose thorn, changed the course of medicine forever. Today, close to a century after this discovery was made, things have become far more complicated. Antibiotic resistance has become one of the most pressing public health issues of our time. Antibiotic resistance occurs when bacteria evolve to become unaffected by the antibiotics that are used to treat the infections they cause. This evolution of resistance is mediated by the rapid occurrence of mutations that block or strengthen the defenses of bacteria against the antibiotics, favoring the development of superbugs. This phenomena is the result of rampant overuse, underuse and misuse of antibiotics, along with consumption of low-quality medicines, incorrect prescriptions and poor infection prevention and control measures. Antibiotics used in animal rearing also contribute to the rise of resistant microorganisms and their migration into humans. In Nepal's case, the country is suffering a double whammy of bacterial infections as a significant public health burden on one hand and the growing difficulty of treating these conditions with commonly used antibiotics on the other. The costs associated with treating drug-resistant cases of infectious diseases also causes a strain on state coffers and the health system overall. The National Public Health Laboratory, with technical support from the World Health Organization, has been conducting laboratory-based antimicrobial resistance or AMR surveillance since 2005. In 2014, the then Ministry of Health and Population had endorsed the antibiotic treatment guidelines designed to aid rational use of antibiotics in the country. At this critical juncture, how can we contribute to fighting AMR? A few tips. Only use antibiotics when prescribed by a certified health professional. Always take the full prescription, even if you feel better. Never use leftover antibiotics. Never share antibiotics with others. Prevent infections by regularly washing your hands, avoiding contact with ill patients, and keeping your vaccinations up to date. It is imperative that we accelerate action on AMR if we want to avoid returning to a point in time where a small scratch from a thorn could kill.